last time you guys seen this video, the store was all decorated, up and running. But now, pretty much done. Moved everything out. This brings back memories though. This was like the initial, man. It was crazy. We used to have shelves all here. You know, we'd be sitting up here in this corner. It'd be so tight and congested. It'd literally be like this. Another thing was there. And we're just sitting here. People would come. We'd go to the door. So having to move was definitely gross. It's the best way to put it. So yeah, what I'm trying to do now is I still have this place for lease till November and it's cheap rent. So I want to try and sublease it um, until maybe November or whenever if the landlord lets us extend it, I'll still extend it. Um, it gives me garbage in the back. I have a place to store my stuff if I need to like storage. I have that, I have parking, I have garbage. I have another location where I can order weed. So let's say I order some stuff at my new store and I can't get my hands on it. If I try and order it from this store, you know, there's two stores that are now trying to get this one product, so there's a higher chance that I'll get it. So those are tips that you guys are watching now, but I'm already out the game so I can release that information, you know, so. That's why when we have four locations, or three, that we have purchasing power, you know, so if something is limited, we can, we can get it. But yeah, this is crazy. Everything was handwritten. I remember putting this up. I remember building the wall. I remember getting the gates installed. I remember when we had the, the the reflective mirror. We did it the one time, but it didn't work properly, so then we had to redo it again and just cover it all up. And then that was more money I spent. And then I put decals on top of that. So all this stuff was just like a big learning lesson. And I didn't have no one to teach me how to do it. I just had to go spend the money and learn the hard way. And sometimes I think that's the best way you can learn, is the hard way. Then you'll really know. You know so yeah, that's about it. I did the lighting, all the, put the new ceiling tiles up. You know, this place is good to rent. Someone could rent this place for like a little, you know, 2000 Comes with internet, electricity, there's a bathroom, big store signage, that's important. You know, so let's try and just make some money now. So we're gonna clean it down. And then like, yo, my boy has a thing where it's like, we can like tuck it in, mm -hmm. like tuck it in. We have to do it from the outside, no? Because the light needs to hit the film for it to be reflected. So, okay, if we do it from that side, regardless, like, we want to tuck it in here, and then, like, basically the thing where it's like. Like, you've you seen, like, the car wrapping tools? Yeah, like, the. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, basically, I'm going to go get those off. Where is he? Midland Arch. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I should use some money and get to make a stamp. Yeah, all right. I just got to run and do this, because, yo, I got to head back to the West for, like, four. Yo, you don't have to. You have to leave at four? No, I just got something to do over there. You're gonna be hitting up it. Yeah. Oh, that's like up yourself. So. Good man, bro. Yeah, no worries. Then he's looking at the TV menus. Yo, if you can't do it, you don't have to do it. Um, it's 10 on 10. You know what I mean? They'll keep you up in the door, but like, it's really If I help, I help. If I can, I can. You can't run me $60,000 an hour to record me. Is that right now? It's what you can't do. You can't do any of that. How do you keep it on? I think you might be on a slideshow. Rough. I thought I had it rough, buddy. Oh, it was on a slideshow? No, no, it's just gonna stay on the pictures. I'm, I'm gonna upload that right now. Um, I need to. I need to move these. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Yo, you grab your charger? Yeah. All right, let's hold on. Don't know. No, no, no footage. I'm back. What's up, mama? I went to a good school. I went to Zay Tech. So, all my friends are smart. University graduates and everything. I need to get 
to the front. Yeah, today, so as you can see with the, the, the window there, we want to be able to see out, but we don't want people to see in. So we have a reflective film. So as long as light hits the film, you can't see in. So technically we'll be able to see out. And um, that's one of the projects today. Today we have to go put up the other Wavy Buzz location for lease. Cause I want to sublease that, I'm just paying for it. It's just sitting there. I need to try and salvage some money out of that. And what else? I need to get the TV menus finished. What else? There's always something to do. We've got to edit these videos. And it's a busy day, so you guys are gonna be coming with me. Charger the here? The charger? Yeah, the Apple charger? Yeah. So yeah, you can come in, man. Um, yeah, so how we base the orders is pretty much off what the customers want. So there's a few options. There's pre-rolls, there's flour, there's edibles, there's oils, there's concentrates, there's like hash and diamonds and shatter. And there's vapes, so I like to have a selection of high quality. Not, I almost say high quality. I like to try and always have high quality stuff, but in terms of price range, something for every consumer. So we have the expensive stuff, and we have the cheaper stuff. Um, so again, that's how I order pretty much all the products: is cheap edibles, expensive edibles. There's cheap vapes, there's expensive vapes. This gives customers an opportunity to not say no, like oh, it costs too much money, I can't get it. No, we don't have, it's only, there's more than just the $40 option, there's a $20 option. So every time a customer comes in, we have to be able to make a sale because they can't walk out that door without a transaction because that means we're messing up. So we always have to try and have something available for everybody. So yeah, as you guys can see, this gets a little crazy. What I'm doing is I'm making the menus for the TV. So when customers come in, they can just look on the TV and see everything that we have for sale. But like the point of this clip is just to, I'm not a graphic designer, so I have a guy that makes these forms for me and then I just have to manually fill them in. But you have to be very versatile when you're trying to do business because you know you want to try and handle everything. There's an issue where, um, there's an issue that popped up. I think we had like some tech issue, like there's something wrong with the computer. Whenever there's an internet issue or a computer problem, I can literally come in, fix it because I went to school for IT, right? So, but I'm not a good handyman. So Chris, he knows a guy that has like the, spe uh, the specific tool and you've seen him, he's now gonna go install the TV window. So everyone that's a part of the team, they all have their own skills that they contribute that makes our ecosystem work. You know, that's why I say everybody that works here, works with us and is part of the team, they're geniuses because they're so good at certain things that I'm not good at. And when you have the right team, you don't lack anything, you know? So everything is just gonna be fluent, everything is gonna be proper, and everything's gonna get done, you know? So, yeah, I guess I'm the IT guy, as you can see. And then everyone has their own style that they bring to the company that helps grow everything. So, I just gotta fill these out and put them up on the TVs, and then we're gonna go to the other Wavy Bud store. We're gonna shoot a clip. I'm trying to sublease it. I think I said that on the camera, but my brain is just always going. So, I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a bit.